Hey, hey, Julia Tabat here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist at RawsomeHealthy.com and I am here to help you create healthy hormones, healthy weight and a body and life that you love so much. So today we are talking about fasting and I'm going to give my opinion on fasting, on dry fasting and juice cleanses and so forth. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is that recently I've been talking to quite a lot of people who have done fasting, juice fasting, juice fist and just constant cleanses and one of root islands, but their health is falling apart. And over my um, six and a half years of experience as a, as a, as a health coach in, the, in this niche, I've also worked with a few people who, who, who are in a very dark space after doing their fast. So why does it happen? And should you actually fast? Now, when it comes to your health and building your health, obviously it is important to cleanse yourself of toxins. And this is the first step that you need to, to make in order to create that level of health that you want to see for yourself. And personally, when our clients come to us and they say, well, should I fast or should I just go into your program and work with you and you know, change my diet and lifestyle? We always say, change your habits first, change your, change your lifestyle, change your di diet, get to a point where you, you've mastered it all and you just, you know, you're not going to go into binge eating and you're not going to face this uncontrollable surge to eat whatever after a fast, which will obviously make you feel like you, you will want to eat more food after a fast and then do it and also do rebuild your health. And especially if you're going to fast with deficiencies, your deficiencies might get worse. And time and time again, I've seen people who came out of fasts, they felt better to begin with, and then they felt worse. And then their hormones were out of balance and digestive, their digestion was out of balance, their adrenals were low, and they were in a very low place emotionally. So a very dark, vulnerable, depressed place. So I want you to bear that in mind when making choices. And it's not that I'm against fasting. I know that work wonders for some people, but it's not, always the solution to everything and dry fasting is not something that we recommend would ever recommend you doing I, I personally think that it's a dangerous thing to do with juice fasting again you know if it's if it's a cleanse that you're starting the cleanse and then you transition into a healthy a healthy lifestyle a healthy diet and you're just going to maintain it you're going to focus on building your habits then that's fine but if you do it one after another after another and you, you know you just it's, you've done 10 or 12 over, over a year and they've all been a week or two, you actually do need nutrients and you can become nutrient deficient if you are doing too much fasting. So if you've done fasting and juice fasting and cleanses and dry fasting, but your health is still falling apart, then there is a reason why and fasting di didn't address that reason. So for example, I, I know people who have fasted with candida, with parasites, with adrenal issues, they came out of, of their fast and they still had those issues. They still had those issues to balance. So this is where your, your healthy, very well uh, structured nutritional plan, very, very balanced, and you working on balancing your certain health challenges, it's going to come in, it's going to help you, it's going to help you create the level of health that you are looking to achieve for yourself. And then if you feel like, oh, I just feel like a fast because I just feel perhaps, you know, more for spiritual reasons, for more, more reasons to connect to yourself, then you can do it. And then you can go back to your healthy lifestyle because you've created those habits. And to help you with that, I would like to invite you to my free online masterclass where I'm going to reveal the five steps our clients use to overcome their hormonal imbalances and drop up to 50 pounds of excess weight, or sometimes more, without any, any carbohydrate restriction, without starvation diets. So it's www.rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section. And I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Eat sweet, keep fit. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now.